Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. Today I have a bunch of stuff I wanted to go over. We're going to talk about the difference between color number four and color, color number eight shell cordovan. I've got an update on my new natural Lancaster wallet. We've got a bunch of key cases to show you, watch straps, and a lot of wallets to show you. So let's get started here talking about the difference between color number four and color number eight. These are very interesting color names because they're not real color names. They're just sort of numbers, and that's because the colors were derived way back when in the early 1900s, and they called them based on the amounts of dye they would put in. So the color number four, back in 1905, had four parts of dye, the dye mixture that they were using, and the color number eight had eight parts. So what we start to see is the color eight is darker because it has more dye on it, but it's also a little bit more developed. So if you look at the color eight in my hand here. You can see it's quite dark. This is the classic shell cordovan color. Sort of that dark brown burgundy shade. It has a little bit of sort of reddish purple undertones. They're very satisfying. And the color number four is roughly half the darkness of the color number eight. I think of the color four more as a medium brown with some very nice red undertones. You can see the depth of color here in my hand as I turn the, the wallet can see some of those undertones come out a little bit more vibrant. This particular piece of color number four is very, very nice. And in fact, these two wallets, um, if you ordered one of these over the weekends, this might be one of yours. So this one first here is a really exceptional piece of shell cordovan on our giant of the fox. And this is color number eight on the outside and also color number eight on the inside. It's really tough for us to get the naturally thin pieces of shell cordovan for the interiors of these wallets. But wow, when we do that, just a really stunning uh, wallet here. And for the longest time, the color number four was my favorite shell cordovan color. And this piece might make me reconsider that it should be my favorite again. I just love this shade, that really nice medium brown, reddish undertones. This is a really beautiful shell. All the color number four that we've got uh, recent batch from Horween is just super nice. And this John the Fox here, color number four on the outside with that light tan mock interior. So I also have a couple key cases here. This is a color number eight shell cordovan vault key holder. And I also have the color number four here as well. So you can see uh, maybe a little easier on the side by side here, the, the vast color difference between the color eight and the color four. The color eight, uh, it's a really dark brown with those reddish undertones like a sort of like a purpley burgundy undertone. And the color number four has much less purple and it is a much more brown shade. Up next here, I just had to show you this incredible color number eight marbled shell cordovan vault key holder. And look at the color um, sort of dramatic difference from left to right on this. On the left, you get the lightest possible variation of the color number eight marbled, which is that light tan uh, sort of a veg color and on the right it is a nice gradient from that light tan to more of the dark brown burgundy and everything in between and I just absolutely love this vault key holder it sort of reminds me of a sunset for some reason all right up next is a two-piece watch strap and this is intense blue shell cordovan I really like our watch straps because they are unlined and in particular the intense blue is just a really great vibrant blue shade that I really like so we also make Chrome Excel watch straps, and this is a color number eight Chrome Excel two-piece strap. You can see the reverse side of the Chrome Excel. We actually put a little bit of extra work and finish in that flesh side, the suede side, to give it a nice sealed off waxy feel. So this is a very comfortable strap on your wrist. All right, now we're moving on to some Apple watch bands here, and this is an Apple watch band in natural shell cordovan. These are unlined, I'm actually wearing a cordovan strap right now, but it's a reverse cordovan. And I can tell you from my experience that these make for the most comfortable straps on your wrist. And that's because the vegetable tan character of the shell cordovan is really exceptional for molding and conforming around anything that it touches. So on your wrist, in, in fact, it's probably the best case scenario because your wrist will impart a little bit of moisture into the leather. And the combination of moisture and time and the heat help that veg tan shell cordovan um, mold to your wrist. So here's another really great Apple watch band, and this one is in black shell cordovan. I've been really into the black shells recently because of how sleek they look. 
And again, this is an online strap, so these are very comfortable, but I'm kind of a big fan of this Black Shell Cordovan right now. I'm thinking about making something in Black Shell for myself, but I am running out of pockets to carry all these wallets. So here's another fun item that we make. This is a valet tray, again in the Color 8 Chrome Excel. It's the same exact leather that we use on this watch strap, the Color 8 Chrome Excel two-piece strap. And what I like about the valet trays is this helps me keep organized at home. So I just, when I walk in the door, I just drop my wallet, my keys, my phone into here, just to keep everything organized. And what's really great about these valet trays is the snaps come undone. So if you're a traveler, these, this folds out flat. And when you lay out the valet tray flat like this, it makes it really easy just to toss in a bag and go on a trip with. So here's another Color 8 Chrome Excel Bugs Moran. So we've had a lot of Color 8 today. This is a nice piece on this Bugs Moran. I really like this version. The version we use on the lighter weight leathers for some of the wallets is a little bit thinner and has a different color on the flesh side, this sort of center piece right there in the middle. And it does seem to be on the current batch we have a bit brighter in luster, but it's very, very nice. We had a flash sale go up last week for the incredible black Dublin leather on these Giant the Foxes. And I have two different black Dublin Giant the Foxes to show you because I wanted to show the natural range of grain character that we can expect to see on the Black Dublin. So I love the Black Dublin because it has a really incredible natural grain character that is not often seen on most black leathers. Oftentimes you'll find black leathers in the market that are very fake and finishy looking. Our Black Dublin is very much an aniline finish. So there's not any pigment or paint finished onto the leather. So you get to see all that really great natural character that I like. So on the left here, this is probably as smooth of Dublin that you could expect to see. You do see the natural character, but it is very flat and even. But from time to time, we do see some pieces of Dublin that are a little bit more drawn up and wrinkly, like this piece in my, in my hand right now. But I actually like both versions. I, I don't know. For me, I, I like things that are a little bit more unique. So I'd probably go for this more wrinkly version and we can do that upon request. If you are a fan of the Horween ink stamp, the Shell Cordovan ink stamp, uh, this is probably the wallet for you. This is an all reverse color eight Giant of the Fox. So we have the reverse shell on the outside that features that prominent Horween ink stamp. And we cut the reverse on the inside as well. And just so you get that random look, both on the inside and outside, that's just really special. So here's another Giant of the Fox that I've been really interested in the color combination recently. This is Intense Blue Shell Cordovan on the outside, which is just a really beautiful shade. And on the inside, we have that nice light tan color. I like looking at sort of both colors at the same time, like on the, on the screen right now. I really like how the tan on the inside of this wallet really sets off the vibrant blue shade of the shell on the outside. So for that reason, I really like these intense blue shell cordovan with mock interior Johnny the Foxes. This is a Johnny the Fox in natural chrome Excel. And all the chrome Excel that we've been receiving from Horween recently is just absolutely amazing. It has that really rich waxy feel that I like and a very nice polished grain. So it's very smooth and has a nice subtle luster. Uh, but what's really cool about the chrome Excel is that sort of natural pull up effect that you see when the leather is creased and flexed and you can always rub that color back in. What, what's happening here is when you flex the leather, you're displacing some of the waxes and oils that have been tanned into the leather in a process called hot stuffing. And you can always sort of rub those waxes back into place just with a little bit of friction. So the Chrome Excel is just great to have in your hand. And this one has a black horse hide interior that is custom made from us or for us by Horween. I have one last wallet to show you today. This is my natural Lancaster Fat Herbie that I've been wearing now for 13 days. It's been really fun to sort of document a wallet like this every day. I haven't really done this before. It's always sort of been like day one, day 1000. So it's kind of fun to see how it develops from day to day. And we're if you've been following these daily updates, you may have heard me say that I've seen the um, sort of denim come off on the spine. That's the biggest effect that I am seeing so far 
on this natural Lancaster is how much color is crocking off of my raw denim onto the spine of this wallet. The other observations I have about the Lancaster is it's starting to develop a very subtle sheen that may be hard to translate in this video. It started off much more of a matte sort of dull finish, but as I'm wearing it, it is very much developing a light sheen that I really like. And I'm hoping that translates onto this video because it's it's really subtle and interesting so far. The Lancaster has that really incredible grain character that I like. And what's also cool about this is the Lancaster is a vegetable tan leather. So I'm starting to see those veg characteristics that I talked about happen here. So we, we see how as I use this wallet over time that it is starting to conform and mold to my cards that I put inside. So I've got three or four cards on each side in each card holder. And you can see on the edges how they're starting to mold around those cards. And I just think that's really satisfying. You see it on the outside as well. So thanks for checking out all the wallets today. Hope you learned a little bit about the color number four and color number eight. Maybe a little bit of the difference about all those things. If you have any questions or comments, anything that you want to see, in fact, that color four, color eight demo that we did today was a request. So I'm happy to accommodate any requests you have, anything that you wanna see, just let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.